Hey, where are you going? You going to ducky time? I want to come to ducky time. It's ducky time. It's ducky time. It's ducky time. Oh, woohoo. Welcome to a special Earth Day edition of Ducky Time. So friends, some fun facts about our planet Earth. Um, it's the third planet from the sun. And the sun, the light that it gives us, it takes roughly eight and a half minutes for the light from the sun to reach Earth. Um, so the sun that the sunlight that is currently shining on my face, or at least was, um, it's eight and a half minutes old. So that's fun. The Earth is called the blue planet. 70% covered in water. 97% uh, of Earth's water is found in our oceans, which is a lot of water. Um, another fun fact about Earth is that the core of the Earth, so the very middle center of the Earth, is molten lava and that can get up to temperatures about 9800 degrees um just to put it in perspective for you a hot tub is roughly about 100 and you bake cookies at about 350 degrees fahrenheit so that's real hot in the middle of the earth real warm and some fun numbers for you lots of numbers coming at you right now on earth we have about 5,000 species of mammals that they've found about 10,000 species of birds that they've found. Uh, there's about 28,000 species of fish and over 1 million species of insects. So that's so many animals that we share our planet with. Um, and friends, scientists are finding new species every day. So if you wanted to find a new species and name it, you could do that. For our next activity in Ducky, Earth Day Ducky Time, we are going to make binoculars. Now this is a craft project for maybe our younger friends or our older friends. You can be the judge of that. Um, so what you're going to need, you're going to need two paper towel tubes. You're going to need a box cutter, a pair of scissors, some yarn, and some tape or some glue. Um, and then some markers to decorate. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to first, you're going to want to cut little X's on one side of each paper towel tube, toilet paper tube. Um, I've pre-cut mine, so we're good to go. And then you're going to put them together so that the non-cut sides are together. So that means both X's are facing out. And then right here, you could do a line of glue. Um, I'm just going to use some tape. And I'm going to tape the two paper towel tubes together, like so. Then you're going to want to pull some string out so that you have a piece that's long enough to go around your neck. And then you're going to take a stick. And you're going to sh shove the string through the X and then tie a knot. I like to double knot my knots. And then do that on the other side. And then, friends, use your markers to decorate your binoculars. And then you have a really cool set of binoculars to find things in the nature. So, roughly 60% of what we throw away in a day could be recycled. Now, recycling guidelines are different based on where you live. Uh, near Walcamp in Northern Illinois, that's the recycling guidelines I'm gonna give you right now. So here's my box that represents what people may normally be throwing away. So, some things in here that are recyclable Plastic bottles, recyclable. So like Propel or Gatorade or soda, recycle. All right, the next item is a glass jar. Glass jars are recyclable. You can also reuse them to store things like buttons or beads um, or, you know, other small items like fingernail clippings. Don't do that, that's a joke. <laughs> Thing number three is an aluminum can. 
aluminum cans can be recycled. You could export them. All right, clothes, not recyclable. However, you can reuse them. Um, you could give them to somebody else who, need, who maybe doesn't, will fit into your old size, um, or you could give them to some place like Goodwill. A dirty diaper. Ew. Dirty diapers cannot be recycled, friends. That goes in the garbage pile. Um, and fun fact, if you are roughly 10 years old, your dirty diapers are still in a landfill. Paper. Paper, if one side is blank like this piece is, you could use that blank side. Um, or you can recycle it. Or if you're trying to start a fire, you can use it as a fire starter. A plastic fork. Now plastic forks, you may think, Jeffy, that's plastic, it's totally recyclable. However, because it has food on it, and because it's been in your mouth, it can no longer get recycled. Um, so therefore, it is garbage. A cardboard box. Recyclable. Or you could use a bunch of them to make a sweet fork. And styrofoam. Styrofoam cannot be recycled in Illinois. So that goes on the garbage pile. And last but not least, a tissue. Now it's a dirty tissue. Friends, dirty tissues are garbage. Don't recycle your dirty tissues. So friends, you may think to yourself, self, that little piece of litter that I throw down, not a big deal. However, if everybody thinks that, then it does become a big deal. So uh, my animal friends here are going to help us demonstrate this. Normally I would use little pieces of garbage but it's pretty windy today and I don't want to be chasing little pieces of paper all over the yard. So, if I take and gently toss all of my animal friends this way, Phew. what was once a nice clean yard now is littered with birds, sloths, and a water bear. So you may be thinking, what are some things that I can do to help the earth this Earth Day? Well, things that you can do um, when you're brushing your teeth, you're washing your hands, turn the water off in between while you're, while you're brushing or while you're brushing. Next, you can use three gallons of water a day at each time you're doing it. Um, some other things you can do is you could start recycling. Um, you could use your recycled products and make other cool craft items with it. Check out these pictures from some of the kids that from a uh, Trinity Davenport in Iowa. If you want more items, check out the checklist in the Recycling Commons section below. Um, do them all, have fun with it, and then post below pictures of the recycled art that you made yourself at home with your family. Thanks and have a great day everybody. Happy Earth Day!